Hey, New York. There are countless opportunities to make small talk in a big city, even though some people seem to avoid it at all costs. Small talk is the glue that binds us all together and the armor that shields us from each other's darkest thoughts. It's useful when you meet up with a friend, go on a date, or try to start a professional relationship. Failing to know how to engage properly could condemn you to a life of social alienation, but it can be extremely rewarding if you know how to do it right. So instead of making people take on the full weight of all your problems, stick with me and I'll make sure that every talk you have from here on out is small talk. A nice way to begin is by leaving your apartment and trying to find someone who is willing to talk to you. <clears throat> Thankfully, New York is filled with friendly people, so this should be easy. One of the main functions of small talk is to fill space with polite conversation uh, until you can be alone again. So make sure to only talk about stuff from your everyday life that anyone can relate to and f forget about easily. You can talk about how nice the weather is, uh, but just make sure that you never mention climate change. You can talk about what's on TV, uh, but make sure that you only, talk, you only mention uh, the nice stuff. You can also talk about the health of your plant, but don't mention that it's a painful reminder of your ex uh, who gave it to you uh, because she loved you, even though you were emotionally unavailable uh, to her. Pets are uh, really good to talk about, too. You can always talk about pets. You could ask a question to a philosopher. Do you think mankind is going to make a comeback? I hope so. Um, if we can survive the perils of climate change, inequality, and uh, um, the fantastic weapons of destruction we've created for ourselves. But that same question uh, might get a much different answer at WrestleMania. Do you think mankind is going to make a comeback? No, not tonight. Fell off too many hell in the cells. Oh, really? Yeah. What about mankind in general? Oh, mankind, like the whole world? I mean, it's not bad. It could be better, but I'm happy with my life, so. And if you're not a big talker in general, you can use a popular technique called baiting to get people to talk to you. Uh, baiting involves wearing or doing something that will invite conversation. This could be a fashion choice or a method of transportation. The way you move, the way you eat, a new haircut is good bait, or you can just dress like a hose. Wearing a band t-shirt is a popular way to get someone to talk to you in public. But if you can't afford to go to a blue chip concert, you can always go see a cover band that has a name that's similar to a, a, a real band. Once you've seen enough, sprint over to the merch table to uh, beat the crowd and pick out the boldest apparel that you can afford. Then you're going to go to the tallest elevator in your city, uh, and it won't be long until someone takes the bait and starts a conversation with you. Yeah. Have you heard of them? Yeah. No. Are they uh, like uh, bagpipers? Or? Yeah, they're bagpipers. Really? They're a bagpipe cover band. Oh. Really? Oh, yeah. Cool. Once you have enough small talk with someone, they will eventually become an acquaintance. To be a successful acquaintance, you will need to have uh, broad interests and uh, relatable flaws. And no matter how awful your life currently is, you can never reveal this to another acquaintance. So it requires a bit of camouflage. You want to seem like someone who is busy, but also likes to relax. That's why going on vacation will give you enough ammunition for years worth of uh, encounters. So just go to a travel agency and ask what the most popular destinations are. I can send you to Punta Cana, Cancun, Jamaica. Any of those places will be my places to go to. Cancun? Cancun sounds good. Is it just one person in the room, or are you going to be sharing the room with someone else? No, it's just me. OK. And if your travel agent starts talking about relationships, uh, don't reciprocate and just wait for the transaction to complete. 86? Yeah. yeah I got married in that year. Don't want to remember that too much. 
Uh, I was married for 20 years. Okay. Relationships, you know, they start, they end. So I think uh, love cannot be forever. Or relationships are not forever. And I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm, you know, if, if I find someone else, great. I'm not looking. But hey, if it comes along, let's see who can deal with me. Because I'm not that easy. But hey, would I marry the same type of person again? No. But at that point, I wanted to, yes. And did I have fun? Yes. Could I have done better? Yes. But that's what's coming next. So let's see what happens. I'll let you know. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. No problem. It's hard to understand why people decide to tell you certain things at certain times. And you might end up wondering what the deal is. 